Thanks for stopping by the channel. Today's video is about the setup and installation of a Renogy Core 1. So please give us a like and if you find it useful, drop some comments below. Here we go. Today we're going to be hooking up the Renogy Core 1. Then we're going to pull in our solar panel system and the controllers all into this, get it online and see how this works. So let's cut a hole. On the back of the Core 1 mounting bracket, you'll see there's several ways to power this unit. We'll be using the green connector on the bottom left-hand side that goes straight to a fuse and then the battery. But you have other options to power it through a Type-C charging system, which we won't be using. But go slow when you're drilling. There are wires behind the wall, and you certainly don't want to have that happen, cutting a wire. So, all right, let's see how this goes. Don't forget to comment and like. So on the bracket, there are four elongated screws. When you put this panel together, you can have these screws loose and tilt the panel to make it match up. Side note, this thing works Bluetooth to your phone, so when you're back in your trailer end, it can give you an idea how level you are from left to right. Front to back is going to be set with your jack in the front, of course. You'll be happy with this. So before you drill in the wall, just make sure there's nothing behind it. You don't need any surprises, and when you are drilling, go slow. Don't get crazy with the pressure, because once uh, this drill bit punches through the wall, there's a refrigerator right behind it. So go easy, go slow, and you won't have any issues. This particular model of Freedom Express 259 FKDS, that's a wire passageway slightly to the right. So I made sure ahead of time I had clearance here before I just plunged a hole in the wall. So you can do the same. The mounting bracket's got four adjustable elongated slots. When you put this bracket on the wall, it gives you the opportunity to fine tune it left to right. So when the camper's truly level, so is the, the meter as you dial this in. You'll love the Bluetooth functionality of the app because as you're back in your trailer in or out, we use Anderson blocks and it helps you get it right on the money the first time and it does save a lot of hassle. You'll like this. What I didn't get here was me pulling the network cables that run from the Bluetooth modules to each one of the Renogy devices in the top of the screen. They just plug in, they're the, I believe called RS-485 uh, connectors like you'd have on an Ethernet cable. But they plug in and on the left out of view is the Bluetooth modules that I'll show a photo of after this. Here are those BT2 Bluetooth devices. Uh, each one of these solar controllers have these plugs and each one uh, were picked up right away on the core one. You hit the discover button and it pops right up. There's both objects. Really impressed how easy this was to get online. So the hard part here is yeah. over with. It took a little longer for us to get it on the network and run the firmware upgrade. That took about five or so minutes. Um, I guess it goes right out to Renogy and gets the latest and greatest drivers. Um, after the five minutes went by, it uh, went through a reboot. Uh, it took about another minute or so for it to get back online. And uh, once that got squared away, we started uh, syncing the app the um, DC home app to the device itself. As soon as we were uh, synced up, uh, we were able to hit the discover button and pull uh, the MPPT controllers in um, and a smart plug that we have. Um, I was told that you want to only do one device at a time, but um, as soon as this firmware update happened, it was... Uh, it was fully automatic. All I had to do was hit the OK button, and as you'll see here uh, pretty quick, uh, it brought all the devices online, and it was, it was really one of the easier things I've had to do in this project. And looking back at my notes, it seemed like this 
this whole thing was six minutes in time. Uh, reboots quicker than anything I have. I was really surprised about that. And as you're seeing uh, the Renogy 1 thing uh, boot up, I was right after this point, this is where uh, we synced up and found those devices. This is all running through our Travelfy mobile internet and that uh, we have no problem still streaming TV with this device online and running. Everything works through the net. Here's where we synced it up with the camera. So this is another uh, view I wanted to show you. Um, there's a QR code and you have to understand how to use the mobile phone which took me a minute. Uh, once I realized I scanned the code and then it automatically brought the Core 1 into the DC Home app. It kind of syncs them together through some kind of weird magic. But um, once that connection was made, um, the discovery process popped up with the devices. And um, from then on out, it was uh, I was done, and I was kind of shocked. I figured there would be a lot more things to set up. So I uh, just turned this on and uh, we, we know the RV, the travel trailer here is sitting a little bit uh, off to one side. Uh, tomorrow I will jack this thing up and get it perfectly level and then follow the uh, leveling procedure, calibration procedure on this. So, uh, so far very happy with this. Here's what it looks like uh, with both controllers online. Uh, there's really no sunshine right now outside as you can see we're putting out very low power on both of the controls the cool thing about this device is even though it's panel mounted it's got a, a auto dimming feature so the light will dim out at night so it won't keep you awake it does make a nice little night light you can keep it on permanently or time it and the other thing is is the app on the phone looks a lot like this when you uh, look at it remotely from anywhere um, you can see the performance of the solar system and the state of the battery and state of the charge. Um, very happy with this. You can remotely turn on the Renogy smart plug. And in my case, I have two electric chairs that have heat and vibration on them. And if we leave our weenie dogs and we're away, the last thing I need is for them to be pushing buttons by accident, having the seats getting hot. So I use the schedule system on the smart plugs to turn those on and off. You can do it from this keypad or you can also do it from your phone remotely. And uh, very happy about this. I'll give Renogy credit. This is a very easy application to use, and the keypad is easy to use as well. As you can see, there's our battery meter and our inverter control as well. Here's a screenshot of the app DC Home. This is what integrates to the Core 1. When it doesn't matter where you're at, it'll, it'll always show you. And here's the view of it uh, where we turned it on and I wanted to be able to just show you a couple screens. You can totally change your names to anything you want of your the Core One's name or the device names. So whatever you like. Here's where you can see the Renogy plug. Um, that's a pretty good setup. You can turn it on and off remotely, uh, run fans with it. Uh, I'm using it on some chairs to keep the power from coming on while we're gone, in case the dogs bump the little buttons. This is the 40 amp Elite uh, charge controller. Just wanted to show you that's remote view. Um, I'm, re I'm at work recording this data, and the RV is about 10 miles away. It uh, gives you a little history trend of your charge system. Of course, it's new. There's not a lot of data right now. And then there's the other charge controller. It'll come up. This is the 50 amp DC to DC charge controller. Uh, this is the one when I plug the truck in, it'll send a lot of extra current back to the battery to charge it while you're traveling. 
So that's the app on the phone. Um, that also works good. It's not glitchy. Well, that's all we have. We'd appreciate it if you could give us a like and a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.